Hi Techie guys, I'm Nand Kishore Swami and today we would be learning about navigating on the other website other than what we specified at the start uh, page property on the same adapter. So let's get started. Um, so let's go ahead and just uh, add a wave adapter to your project. So I have a uh, new project. You can use your existing or a new project. Click on add. So once our wave adapter is added, just select it in Object Explorer and go to Property window. So first let's specify Start page to one of the URL. So in the current scenario, if we interrogate uh, uh, to this web adapter it would just take us to the google.com and we can interrogate only on the google.com and we do not have any option to navigate to any other website other than the google but uh, in the real-time scenarios uh, in, in a business case we might run into a situation wherein we need to explicitly navigate to the other website using the same adapter so to do so we need a control called web browser and the web browser would have a uh, method called navigate so the navigate method can be used to navigate to the other website than what we specified in start page property here so to enable a uh, web browser control uh, by default it's disabled and when we create a control we won't see that web browser control so to enable that, we need to go to a property called uh, ignore main page browser, uh, main browser. So by default, it is true. That's the reason it ignores main browser and it don't uh, create a browser control. So let's uh, go ahead and make it to false. So this is an essential thing. If we run into a situation wherein we need to navigate to the other website then you need to make this main browser to false and start interrogation once you start interrogation ideally it should take uh, to the website which we specified at uh, start uh, page property so there you go it should be google.com in my case and another thing that we need to keep in mind is uncheck this create global page property just simply we need to uncheck it and then go ahead and create any control any control on the website so it will create a hierarchy with web browser control so there we go this is the web browser control created for this particular web browser so if we have that ignore main uh, browser property to true then it won't create it and even if we have this checkbox checked then it's, uh, it won't create so let's see how we can utilize this uh, web browser property to navigate to other website so let me stop interrogation go to your solution explorer add a window form so on the button click we can navigate to another website we'll add a text box in that text box we'll enter the URL to navigate and add a button so once on we click on that button it should navigate to that url let's add a label so it's a url Then 
navigate let's go to our automation file go ahead and just take your windows uh, forms button control click event and in the click event will navigate to the other website so let's go to your browser web browser control just select it and there should be a method called navigate and it will take one parameter simply just navigate and it's url string so url should be coming from our text box and we need a property called text that should be enough so let's run it So there we go so by default it should open up uh, Google so as we specified in the start page property uh, we specified the Google so we can see this Google is open now and now we we'll navigate it to Yahoo just click on your button so there we can see it's navigating to Yahoo. So this is how you can navigate to any website on the same web adapter. So that's it in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.